When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. So the pole at his chromosome, me with me. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're going to be talking about Will B, the bass guy, nigga. Alright, so look. Lil B, who I feel is arguably like the most influential rapper of today's hip hop. Now hear me out. A lot of people give Soulja Boy all of this credit and shit. And don't get me wrong, Soulja my nigga, like I, I fuck with him, like personally. Like that's my boy. But Lil B is the person who kind of gave Soulja Boy most of this sauce. You know what I'm saying? Now, Soldier Boy is definitely influential. He's one of the most influential of this generation as well. When you think about how he introduced like technology to hip hop almost. It's like the YouTube and all of that shit, the streaming and all of this shit, that's Soldier Boy. But I mean like actual like the influence of hip hop today, I think there's Lil B. Because Lil B is the reason why a lot of these rappers even got a fucking chance right now, bro. I remember way back, like, 2010, when he was, let me get that neck, bitch, come and suck my dick. He was rapping like that and shit. I was listening to it. Everybody was like, what the fuck is this shit? I was fucking with it, though. And it, it sounds like today's music, which I guess we can call, like, troll rap. Lil B was the first rapper I seen to do a lot of shit, bro. I'm not going to even lie. He was the first person to call himself a bitch. This nigga called himself a pretty bitch, bro. And this was like in 2010, 2011. That nigga was walking around wearing tight ass skinny jeans before they was even like a thing. He used to be like only thug nigga and eat tiny ass pants, nigga. Bitch, my tiny pants, I don't give a fuck. 30 bitches on my dick, nigga, run it up. Sap up with an AK-47. Bitch, my till I die and I go to heaven. Fuck with me, bitch, I done came with the Mac 11. On TV and I ain't talking about seven heavens. You know, and now all of these rappers wearing skinny. I mean, Lil B, man. The shit that he was getting clowned for, all of these rappers look and sound just like him now. That's fucking crazy. I remember he wore like some old grandma looking earrings and shit and like an old like sweater looking shit. I don't know. It looked like an old lady outfit all together. But now you look at Young Thug and shit, some of the shit he be doing. But Lil B was doing this shit half a decade ago. You know what I'm saying? Before Young Thug. And I'm not saying like he's the first person to like dress that type of way because I mean of course you got like Andre 3000 people like that and shit but I mean of today's era he really brought that into like what it is today where like little niggas dressing however the fuck they want to dress you know how many niggas use his flow right now and a lot of people don't even know about that shit when uh he be like young bass guy dun 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 Young bass guy. Tiny shirts on oh my guy. Thirty bitches suck my dick. Young bass guy came in and I'm niggerish. Young bass got off the wall like a flash screen. Bitch, my niggas do things you ain't never seen. You know what I'm saying? Now you hear people saying their name just like that. For instance, save like Chief Keith had a song and he was like, Young Chief Keith, I be getting out the mud. Young Chief Keith, like how you chant your name like that. That's Lil B shit. He used to do that shit all the time, my nigga. People used to be like, what the fuck? This nigga just repeat himself. He can't rap, blah, blah, blah. And now they rapping the lyrics that sound just like his shit. It's fucking nuts, bro. This nigga really, like, introduced the whole genre to hip-hop. Troll rap, bro. Look at uh the most notif noticeable person. It's probably Ugly God. Bitch, I be my me. Give a fuck about what you think. I know all up in my sheets. Bitch, my swag is so complete. Look at Ugly God. That is a little B clone. Don't get me wrong. I fuck with Ugly God. Good music and all of that shit. He make good beats and all of that shit. I fuck with him. But he's a protege of Lil B. The same for, uh, what's his name? Lil Boom. That's Lil B. Uh, Young God. Lil B. All of these people are Lil B's. Now they all got their own sound and shit. Don't get me wrong. But you can see the Lil B influence and people like Lil Boom he sounds more like Young God but Young God 
sound he got his sound from Lil B. That's why I'm saying it's like a fucking family tree, bro. What else Lil B was doing when niggas weren't doing it? The positivity shit. You see how niggas just want to spread positivity and all of this fake positive vibes and all of this shit. Now that's look that been Lil B whole gimmick his entire career outside of uh, his rap group, the Pat. That's been him. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody is on that wave now. Soldier Boy's career got reinvented. I meant rejuvenated when he fucked with Lil B, bro. You get what I'm saying? Pretty boy swag. Hey, pretty boy. That song would have never happened if it wasn't for Little B. That is Little B. His influence is crazy, bro. Little B been calling himself the pretty boy forever. You know what I'm saying? Swag rap is Little B. Matter of fact, call it troll slash swag rap. That's all Little B, man. Young bass guy and I'm finna fuck your bitch. Skirt. Young bass guy and I'm about to get rich. Like he invented that style, bro. You can't tell me that's not how a lot of these rappers sound right now. Especially when they freestyling, my nigga. Especially when they freestyling. But that's what it is. A based freestyle. Little B invented based freestyles. And the one thing that I appreciate about Little B the most is... The nigga can actually rap. That's why I call it troll rap, because this nigga got bars. The nigga can rap his ass off, but he chooses to troll the world because, hey, this what y'all want to hear. If I drop this knowledge right here, y'all ain't going to click this shit. But if I if I do this shit right here at the fucking fool, y'all going to go crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? It's troll rap. Do y'all... I know some of y'all don't even know that he was beefing with Joe Button back in the day. This nigga went crazy on Joe Button. To this day. To this day. <laughs> to this day, Joe Button still say uh, Lil B got one of the best Joe Button diss tracks of all time. See certain buttons, it's a fucking warning shot. Rap niggas want to talk, I'll leave with your jaw drop. You know, Lil B got a Kendrick Lamar co-sign. Lil B got a Ninth Wonder co-sign. Lil B got a motherfucking uh, uh, Lil Wayne co-sign. You know what I'm saying? He's cemented in hip-hop. But I just think his influence is overlooked because he never sold himself in just to become like a big artist. He remained solid. So let me know what y'all think about this. Yeah, this is the end of the video. I'm going to end it right here. Let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know in the comment section, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to the fucking bass guy, man. If you ever hear this, you the goat, my nigga. You know? Um, gone. I'ma fuck your bitch, nigga. I'ma fuck your hoe, nigga. Twam in my back like I'm sipping on the phone, nigga. I'm back, nigga. Any nigga got a problem with it, nigga. Address that shit with big souls, you puss ass nigga. Prolific. Ayy. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this.